Working as a professional animator takes dedication, creativity, and a variety of experiences that help to shape an individual's career. To help provide a better understanding of what it takes to be an animator, we interviewed our own animation team to get their perspectives. We'll have so. barking dogs. Sorry about that. It's funny, my first reaction to that is, I think, uh, patience. Patience? <laughs> Okay. And more specifically, I think that um, you do need to know like the 12 principles of animation. You can look that up, that's everywhere. Animation takes a long time. It's a lot of work. Acting, I think for a character animator, um, is a big one. You know, art is personal, animation is personal. Not all animators are going to go into character animation, but that's, that's a big one. If you have an artistic eye and have an art background, it's much, much better. It does involve all the, you know, silhouette value and composition, you know, all that stuff that's basic art. You're gonna wanna be completely proficient in the software. You know, all that and art and a thick skin. <laughs> I think for a 3D animator, it's still Maya. For the most part, Maya is still number one. There's also 3D Studio Max. Some studios use 3D Max, not many. Blender is up and coming. But it's still not being used widely in production. It's good to know After Effects and Premiere, any editing tools that can help you. If you're doing 2D animation, Harmony and Flash. Photoshop, Storyboard Pro. That's kind of what makes animation super cool. What else do I use? I mean, it's a lot. <laughs> I think that's it. I wasn't one of those kids who was like, oh, I want to be an animator. I was always interested from okay, cool. a very young age. I always drew cartoons and I only, that's all I wanted to do was draw cartoons. But I went into film and I studied film for five years before I was introduced to computer animation. Back then, way back then, which was a long time ago, <laughs> there were no computers. <laughs> Other people knew how to, how to use computers, I did not. So I was learning how to use a computer at the same time that I was learning computer animation. It didn't matter, I didn't, you know, I mean, I was drawing anyways, I didn't want to. I wouldn't have known anything about getting into computer animation. The combination of technology and creativity just blew me away. I uh, found out about the school in Toronto, so I sent my portfolio of drawings up to them and got into that school. And I did my own short film and it, got a lot of awards and got me my first job at Blue Studios in Ireland. So it actually was just kind of really cool. I mean, I've I've lived in a time now where, where computer animation has kind of really grown into almost everything, almost every aspect of filmmaking. I don't know, I just wanted to make things move and, you know, it was cool to see things on TV and I, you know, tried to imitate things in my drawings. and. It's not so hard these days, you know? It's very much up to you to stay up to date on, on the tools. <laughs> There's a thing called YouTube. <laughs> the internet makes it all easy to find, easy to research, easy to look into. Um, there's this great, amazing um, organization called Women in Animation, WIA, and that actually is amazing. The software creators that you're working with like Maya and uh, uh, Adobe and uh, so on and so forth. Just people I keep in touch with and see their, what they're working on. I mean, you can't stop networking and that's a big part of this business in general. Even after all these years of animating, I still every now and then get a shot and I'm like, how? How am I gonna do this? That is a tough one. <laughs> you know, it's hard to get an opportunity, but yeah, it's networking. So yeah, like the WIA is actually really great for young people just to meet people. Do what you really enjoy because at least if you don't get to work in it constantly, you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> um, and it's also about talking with people and trying to meet them. Another really good one is is just learning to listen, learning to understand um, where whatever bit of work you're doing fits into the bigger picture. You know, it shows initiative and in that, you know, you really want to learn and move, so that's always good. This industry is so competitive, you want to make sure you are constantly working to improving your reel 
and expanding your skills. Always keep growing and learning and take doing tutorials online. And uh, don't expect you're going to be working on a feature film right away. <laughs>